Hi, welcome to Cook with Joy. I'm Joy Kelly, and this is season four of my cooking show. It's so exciting. I can't believe it's been four seasons already. I know, four seasons, it's so awesome. Every season, I try to make some kind of a healthy beverage. Sometimes they've got alcohol in them, and sometimes they don't. Every month, I try to do 10 days where I do a shred, and I get rid of alcohol, caffeine, white flour, gluten, dairy, you name it, just try to clean everything up. But you know, what are you gonna do when you can't drink, Derek? Just give up. It sucks, it sucks. But over the years, I've discovered ways to make it not suck so bad. And one way is to be able to make a mocktail. What's a mocktail? A mocktail is a fake cocktail. So in, remember in season one, we made that mocktail with uh -huh. the ginger and the berries and the cucumber, and it was really, it was awesome. I really I, like that yeah, one. Yeah, I really like it. What gives it the kick is the vinegar. But I've been investigating other things and other ways to make fun cocktails, and I was out at a local restaurant, and I had the most delicious non-alcoholic cocktail that I've ever had. They called it a hachizo. And it all started with this crazy, great, it's not a liquor, it's, it's distilled spirits that have then had the alcohol taken out of them. No fun, right? It's called seed lip. And there's two different kinds. One kind of tastes, is supposed to taste like gin, and the other one kind of tastes like whiskey. But there's no alcohol in it at all. No alcohol. It's as expensive as alcohol, though. These things were 39 bucks a bottle. Wow. And now a lot of stores are starting to carry them. They're made in England, England, and they're pretty fancy. The, there's some pretty fancy magazines that have written them up. So I'm going to show you how to make hachizo with this seed lip garden non-alcoholic liqueur. Are so you ready? No alcohol. No alcohol. Okay. No alcohol? All right, here we go. Now the first thing for me for making a great mocktail is I want to have a really pretty glass and I want to have a really pretty presentation. We're going to start off with a really pretty glass that I've slid a really thinly sliced cucumber onto the side. So we're getting the benefit of the cucumber too, right? It's yeah. not just that it's no alcohol, it's also that there's some good stuff in it. Next, I'm going to fill it up with some ice because you can't make a cocktail without ice, right? So I'm going to fill that up. What's the difference between ice cubes and like the one big giant cube? You know, my husband really likes those big giant cubes. The big giant cubes don't melt as quickly and that's why he likes them. I kind of like them to melt because I like the, that feeling of it. Okay, so we've got that made. And now, now we could add more cucumber if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna mess with their recipe because they were so kind to share it with me. So that's Lakita restaurant here in Santa Barbara. I'm gonna start out with a jigger and a half of the seed lip. How much and is that? A jigger? Yeah. Well, I'm using a big jigger because when I had it down there, it tasted like it needed a little bit more. So I'm adding a jigger and then a half. I'm adding the jigger, and you can actually smell this. It really almost smells like alcohol. Pretty, pretty funny. But there's no alcohol in it. No alcohol. So a jigger and a half. And then I'm going to add some sherry vinegar. Now, adding vinegar to any mocktail is good for two reasons. Number one, it's going to add that kick that you kind of get when you have alcohol. But also, 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 this is really important. Vinegar is really good for a lot of functions. It helps you to maintain healthy weight, maintain healthy blood sugar levels, maintain healthy blood pressure levels. It can aid in, in liver functioning. So it's actually really pretty good for you. And this is sherry vinegar. And they told me to just add a few drops. They're people after my own heart, right? Not measuring anything. So I'm just gonna add a few drops to that. There's no alcohol in that? No alcohol in the vinegar. Then I'm gonna fill it up with this elderflower tonic water. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, it's the best. They also make good ginger beer too. Really? Cool, okay, so I'm filling it all the way up. And then the final magic ingredient to make it be beautiful are these pink peppercorns. Now, I don't know all the health benefits of pink peppercorns, and I don't know, you don't really actually eat these, but we're gonna add a few just to make it really be cute. And you can chew them up if you want as well. But what I wanna point out to you is that, number one, we're doing the number one thing that we can do, which is not getting more alcohol in our bodies for 10 days out of the month if you're doing the shred. But also, all of the things that we put in here, they all have plants in them. And there's not a plant that is out here that doesn't do some good for you. Let me taste it. It looks a little bit different than the one that I had. Ooh, I think I might've put a little bit too much sherry, so I'm gonna have to measure it next time. But it's pretty delicious, Derek. You wanna try it? I do, but there's no alcohol in it, right? No alcohol in it. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I think you'll like it. It's got too much sherry vinegar in it. Woo! 
What do you think? That's good. It's <laughs> yeah. Sweet, strong. Yeah. Does it, I mean, it's kind of hard to believe there's not alcohol in it, isn't it? Well, cheers to you and season four of Cook with Joy. I hope you'll tune in next week for our next episode of our favorite cooking show. 